it's definitely helped our team this year having you know a top-notch facility uh, as well as the trip to New York City obviously you know a, a great facility um, there at Madison Square Garden a great opportunity Kyle Criscolo I'm number 11 I'm a forward and I'm uh, one of the captains on the men's Harvard Ice Hockey team. The on-ice opportunities that have been given to me through Harvard Athletics have been incredible. Um, I, I think college hockey is an unbelievable experience. Hi, my name is Max Everson. I'm a senior defenseman and I wear number 44. Walk around that, their facilities of this, the same guys that are out there playing on the Canadian Olympic team and playing for the New York Rangers was an incredible experience. When we were at the Rangers facility seeing Don Moore's locker, uh, it was, you know, it's, it's something that we all look forward to. Uh, obviously, a lot of us have goals of playing at the next level and, and seeing one of our own make it there through hard work and not, you know, it's not, it's not, not an easy, easy route. I think, um, you know, it's encouraging for us and we look forward to that. And Don Moore's been a, you know, he's been a great outlet for us and in, in speaking with us and kind of um, being somebody that we look up to as a team. I always try to be one of the hardest workers on the ice, if not the hardest worker. And while that's hard to quantify, I think you know you can tell the guys who are who are going hard. And I think it's, I think it's the the leaders on the team's job to set that tone and be the guys going the hardest. Because I think that uh, trickles out to the rest of the players. We're a gritty team. Um, we're not going to stop coming at you. I think you know our identity is that we um, that we outwork teams, and that's what we want our identity to be, and that's what we're hoping to carry out through the rest of the year. We've got a lot going on between school and hockey and our responsibilities uh, between both, so you need to be pretty hardworking and responsible in order to keep your schedule straight and make sure you're um, able to succeed in school and in, on the ice. I think um, this year uh, there's, there's more than just one leader on this team. I think the entire senior class has done a phenomenal job of setting the table for, these, uh, for the younger guys on the team. You know, the leaders have done a great job as a whole of uh, kind of honing in on, on what we want to do. Come up a little bit if you have to. Russ, they're just taking a picture. All right, so this is going to go up. Yeah, it's kind of weird just because like, we, that's like, the, we watch NHL Live all the time and see the highlights and see the NHL guys getting interviewed and whatnot and uh, so it was a little weird seeing one of the, you know, the guys sitting next to him in the locker room on that show being interviewed uh, but it was definitely a cool experience I'm really glad he got to do it um, definitely definitely well earned as well so uh, I think we all got a kick out of that for sure. Um, I think the last couple of years uh, we've had all the talent um, the pieces have been in place uh, we took a little bit of our lumps last two years but this year Everyone's uh, a year older. Um, our top eight scored probably from last year back, and everyone's just more mature, playing with confidence, and everything's going well. Tired of losing. Obviously being at Madison Square Garden downstairs in the locker room and walking the same halls that some of the greats have walked, uh, not just hockey players, but in all sorts of uh, entertainment as well as athletics, you know, it's something special every time you go there. It's pretty special. Um, those rinks are a little, little different, the professional rinks seem to be, because the, the ice is a little more bright and the stands are a little darker. So it kind of looks like you're almost skating, feels like you're almost skating under a stage. It's a pretty cool feeling. Um, I mean, it's, it's hard to describe. It's almost like, it's hard to remember kind of just because it's a little bit surreal when you're skating out there. I mean, the fans are unbelievable. It's, it's a lot of fun to come out to a nearly packed rink at Madison Square Garden. Um, just playing there alone is spectacular, but having fans there that you know care about your team and care about the season that you're having is something that you know, you won't forget um, in the near future.
It was a great trip to be able to take with the team. Um, all the opportunities we got between the, the Rangers practice facility and then getting to play a game in, in Madison Square Garden was incredible. Those things definitely make it one of the one of the things I think I'll look back on and remember for the rest of my life.